Hello, lovely listeners. Welcome to a new episode of Baked Lore and More, the show that digs up the most amusing tales from history's treasure trove. I'm Steph, your chief storyteller and guide on this journey of laughter and learning. Today, as I look at my judgmental houseplants, I'm pondering over something even more static but less green. Pet rocks. That's right, the 1970s phenomenon where rocks became pets. Think about it. A time when bell-bottoms swayed, disco balls spun, and folks thought, why not turn a rock into a pet? Pet rocks were the epitome of low-maintenance companionship. They required no food, no walks, and definitely no potty training. For those overwhelmed by even a cactus's needs, this was a dream come true. In this episode, we're rolling back the clock to an era when people didn't just stumble over rocks. They adopted them. We'll uncover the story of Gary Dahl, the mastermind behind the pet rock craze. So, settle in with your favorite rock, or grab a comfy chair, as we unearth the quirky history of pet rocks. Prepare for a ride filled with humor, nostalgia, and, yes, a delightful dose of inactivity. Let's dive into the stony, yet surprisingly heartwarming world of pet rocks. It's time to get stoned on nostalgia and discover how a simple rock became a cultural icon. Picture the 1970s, a decade bursting with new ideas and eccentric fads. Amid this creative chaos, Gary Dahl, an imaginative advertising executive, gazes at a simple rock and sees not just an ordinary stone, but a potential no-fuss pet. A pet that needs no care, creates no mess, and epitomizes ease. With this spark of genius, the concept of the pet rock was born. The idea was pure simplicity. A smooth, ordinary rock, nestled in a cozy box with straw bedding, complete with air holes. Humorously unnecessary, of course. It was marketed as the perfect pet for the low-maintenance lover. A product that required no upkeep, yet provided companionship. It tapped into the era's quirky sense of humor and love for the unconventional. Dahl's vision transcended mere rock sales. It was about selling an amusing experience, a light-hearted gag, and a conversation piece. Consider the zeitgeist of the time, when people were drawn to the unique and the offbeat. Enter the pet rock, sitting quietly in its box, exuding a peculiar charm. Dahl's brainchild resonated with the public. The pet rock wasn't just an object, it was a pet that asked nothing of its owner. It captured the hearts of many, becoming an overnight sensation and a symbol of pop culture. It wasn't just a product that brought joy, it was a phenomenon that made people stop and smile. So, let's roll back to this wacky chapter in history, where a rock wasn't just a piece of the earth, it was a friend for life, or at least until the next trend took over. It's Christmas 1975. The festive air rings with jingle bells and the excited rustling of gift wrapping. Amidst the holiday cheer, you unwrap a present to find a pet rock gazing back at you. Surprise! It's the gift you never knew you wanted, a rock bestowed with an identity, a purpose, and an unspoken bond. The pet rock wasn't just a fleeting trend. It was the gag gift of the decade, accompanied by a manual on care, which essentially instructed owners to do nothing. These rocks represented the pinnacle of the low effort companionship. They offered the comfort of owning a pet devoid of any actual responsibilities. It was absurd, pointless, and utterly brilliant. Why did the pet rock capture the nation's heart? Perhaps it was the allure of owning something both simple and novel. Maybe it was the fun of joining in on a collective joke, or perhaps, it was the charm of having a pet that wouldn't chew on your shoes. The pet rock craze swept across the country, turning these ordinary stones into cherished companions, families and friends engaging with their rocks, ascribing them personalities, even taking them on walks. It was a time of innocence and lightheartedness. The pet rock transcended its inanimate nature to become a cultural icon, a symbol of playful irreverence. In an increasingly complex world, it represented a return to simplicity and a nod to the absurd. People embraced the whimsical concept, finding joy in the nonsensical nature of it all. It was an era when gifting a rock was met with genuine laughter and appreciation. The pet rock wasn't just a stone in a box. It was a cultural icon, embodying a sense of playful irreverence and simplicity. In a rapidly evolving world, it symbolized a return to basics, a refreshing pause, 
from the hustle and bustle of modern life, adults and children alike, talking to their rocks, assigning them quirky names, and even taking them out for walks in the park. It was an era marked by a blend of innocence and humor, where the simple act of owning a rock became a shared cultural experience. The pet rock, in its silent, stoic way, became more than just an inanimate object. It became a companion, a part of the family. But the pet rock phenomenon was more than just a whimsical fad. It was a testament to the power of marketing, creativity, and the human desire for connection, even in its most abstract form. Behind each pet rock was Gary Dahl, the visionary who saw potential in the mundane and turned it into something extraordinary. He tapped into the collective yearning for something unique, something that broke the monotony of daily life. The pet rock craze was a reflection of the times, a period when people were looking for new ways to express themselves, to connect, and to find joy in the simplest of things. In a world that often takes itself too seriously, the pet rock was a breath of fresh air, a reminder that sometimes the most memorable experiences come from the most unexpected places. It was a phenomenon that demonstrated that sometimes the most extraordinary things in life are the simplest. So, as we reminisce about the quirky chapter of the pet rock in pop culture history, let's not just think of it as a fad, but as a symbol of joy, a beacon of whimsy in a world that can often feel all too serious. The pet rock may have been a simple stone, but its impact was anything but. It was a small, quirky chapter in the vast book of human history, but one that certainly left its mark. The pet rock craze was more than just a whimsical trend. It was a snapshot of the collective psyche, a reflection of our yearning for simplicity in a complex world. These unassuming stones became icons, not because of their intrinsic value, but because of the stories we attach to them. They taught us that the value of an object isn't always in its function, but sometimes in the joy and laughter it brings. In an era defined by technological advances and social upheaval, the pet rock stood as a symbol of playful resistance, a gentle reminder not to take life too seriously. It was a phenomenon that transcended age, culture, and geography, uniting people in a shared experience of humor and simplicity. Today, the pet rock is remembered with fondness and nostalgia, a quirky artifact of a bygone era. It serves as a reminder that the most extraordinary moments often come from the simplest of ideas. The pet rock phenomenon showed us that creativity doesn't need to be complicated. It can be as straightforward as seeing the potential in a humble stone. As we look back on the legacy of the pet rock, we're reminded of the power of marketing, the allure of novelty, and the human tendency to find connection and meaning in the most unexpected places. In a world increasingly driven by digital interactions, the pet rock reminds us of the value of tangible, simple pleasures. The story of the pet rock is more than just a tale of a passing fad. It's a narrative about human imagination and the joy of communal whimsy. It reminds us that in our quest for innovation and progress, there's still room for the simple, the absurd, and the seemingly insignificant. The pet rock, in its silent, unassuming way, became a cultural touchstone, a testament to the era's spirit, and a symbol of the enduring human capacity for playfulness and joy. And now, I'd love to turn it over to you, our amazing listeners. Do you have a memorable story about the pet rock or any other quirky fad from the past? Maybe you still have a pet rock sitting on your shelf, a testament to a simpler time. We want to hear all about your experiences and stories in the comments. Share your tales of nostalgia, your encounters with these silent companions, or any other whimsical fad you've been part of. Also, if there's a piece of offbeat history or a quirky cultural phenomenon you think we should explore next, don't hesitate to drop us a line. We're always on the lookout for the strange, the unusual, and the outright hilarious stories from history. Your suggestions help us uncover those hidden gems, those tales that make us laugh, think, and sometimes just shake our heads in wonder. Your input is a crucial part of this show, so share your thoughts, your stories, and let's keep unearthing the amusing and bizarre tales from our past together. Remember, Baked Lore and More is not just talk about sharing stories. It's about building a community of people who love history's lighter side. So get involved, share your ideas, and let's make history fun together. Who knows, your story or suggestion might just become the highlight of our next episode. We're here to delve into the quirky, 
the forgotten, and the eccentric aspects of history. And we want you along for the ride. Well, that wraps up another episode of Baked Lore and More. It's been an absolute joy sharing the quirky tale of Pet Rocks with you. We've journeyed through a time of simple joys and lighthearted fads, reminding us that sometimes the best things in life are the simplest. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and share this with anyone who loves a good dose of historical humor. Your support helps us continue unearthing and sharing the weirdest, most wonderful stories from the past. As we sign off, remember to keep your sense of humor alive your curiosity peaked, and your appreciation for the little things in life, even if it's just a rock. I'm Steph, your guide to the odd and amusing tales from history, saying goodbye for now. Stay playful, stay curious, and never stop exploring the wacky and wonderful stories that history has to offer. Until next time, take care, keep smiling, and remember, the most extraordinary stories are often hidden in the most ordinary things just waiting to be discovered.